Hey guys, now in this video, let's understand SOC delete and purge protection in detail. So first we will understand these concepts and the importance of these concepts. Then of course we will see a quick demo. And finally, the most important thing, we will understand why enabling SOC delete and purge protection is important. Now is, let's discuss soft delete. So as you can guess, soft delete, it means soft deleted. That means it is not permanently deleted. So as you can guess, we should always enable soft delete. So it's because let's say we are by mistake deleted a key or secret or let's say there is some user who with malicious intent, he has deleted the key or secret. And if soft delete is not enabled, that means we cannot recover that deleted key or secret. So again, we should always enable soft delete. Then what is this purge protection? So purge protection, that means whether soft deleted key or secret, can we delete it permanently? So when purge protection is enabled, that means that soft deleted key or secret we cannot delete permanently for a certain period. So let's say for 90 days, that soft deleted key or secret we cannot delete. But if purge protection is disabled, so that means the soft deleted key or secret we can delete or we can permanently delete immediately. So again guys, when we delete a key or secret, it will be soft deleted. And we have second level of protection, whether that solve related key or secret can be deleted permanently or not. So that is purge protection. So again guys, as you can guess, we must enable both of these. And now let's see a quick demo. So again guys, we are in Azure and we are trying to create a new keyword. So obviously we can select the resource group. We can give the name to our keyword. But now observe this sort delete and by default it is enabled and of course it should be enabled only it is a good practice but if you read this description if we are creating this keyword using cli or powershell then we have this option to disable this soft delete but again as a good practice we must enable it okay and then we have this purge protection so as you can see disable purge protection it means allow keyword and objects to be purged during the retention period so again purge means permanent delete and when we have enabled this purge protection that means we are enforcing a mandatory retention period for deleted walls and vault objects that means let's say for 90 days those soft deleted keys or secrets they will be there we cannot permanently delete it and again, as a good practice, we, sh we should enable purge protection as well. Okay. Now, guys, this is the keyword which we created in our earlier video. So, again, creating this keyword is simple, straightforward process. Let's open it. So, we are under overview. And, guys, if you observe this, see this sob delete, it is enabled, but purge protection, it is disabled. So, that means when we created this keyword, we had selected this option that is disable. So that means from this keyword, if I delete a secret, first it will be soft deleted and I will be able to permanently delete that soft deleted secret. And now let's try that. So let's click on these secrets. So again guys, we have this secret which we created in our earlier video. Let's open it. And here now I will say delete, delete. So that means now this secret is soft deleted. Let's close this and again if I, if, if I refresh over here, so there are no secrets because now that secret is soft deleted. So let's click on this manage deleted secrets. And let's see, we can see this soft deleted secret. So if I select it and if I go down, 
guys can you see this i have two options that is i can recover this deleted secret or i can purge this that means i can permanently delete this secret so let's click on purge and let's say delete see now this secret is permanently deleted so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening